Hello, my name is Julie Mall and I lead solution engineering at Elastic Path. In this series, we're going to discuss different merchandising moments that Elastic Path Commerce Cloud can power. In our first scenario, we're going to discuss how to create an experience around key events. It's August, which means that back to school is just around the corner. And a typical scenario for a merchandiser is that they want to create a special category of products that they can feature on their website, highlighting this collection of back to school products. So today, in this merchandising moment, we will cover creating special events within Elastic Path Commerce Cloud. So here is our standard demo environment that we use at Elastic Path. You can see it's a typical retail environment that covers multiple different business models, including buying sort of the typical retail model, rentals, and membership programs. And what we want to do today is in our kids category, we want to feature a back to school category, subcategory, and merchandise some products in that. And in fact, we can also create a new heading specifically for back to school if we like. And the way we typically get started is that the merchandiser will have had products added to the site, either through a direct feed, or in this case, I'm just going to upload or have already uploaded a few products into our demo environment. And you can see there's some kid products. I've notated color, brand, and this last attribute, sort of custom attribute, indicates that these products as part of this special program are going to be offered with free shipping. So when I go into the Elastic Path Commerce Cloud Commerce Manager, which is what you see here, you can see these first five products are the ones that I've just recently uploaded. I've done that simply through going to product imports, choose file, and it takes me to my file browser and I can choose the CSV file that I want. But I've already uploaded those files. Again, just to kind of call out some of those attributes that we added, if I click into my Airbow clips here, we can see I pulled in some of that basic information. And if I look under product templates, this is actually the area where I can create and manage custom attributes for my products. And we use this in a variety of ways within our demo site, but you can see here those custom attributes indicating kind of the style, the color, and the brand are maintained in my product details template. And then I have a shipping options template that allows me to indicate what kind of shipping that I'm going to offer for these products. And again, because this is kind of a kick off to the back to school program, we're going to offer these selection of products as free shipping. And of course, I've added pricing to these products as well. So you can see I've got a retail pricing for $12. I'm not going to manage any variations. And in a subsequent merchandising moment video, we'll talk about creating flash sales and sale pricing for specific products. So now that I have my products uploaded, I have my pricing added and my imagery added, I want to start configuring that special category of products for back to school. So we manage that within Commerce Manager under configurations and hierarchies. And you can see here, I've got those categories that we saw on my homepage for buy, rent, membership, etc. And when I click into buy, that's where I can see all of my subcategories that I have access to. And again, I have my kids category. And now we can merchandise this experience in a couple of ways. Again, depending upon the outcome and the experience that the merchandiser wants. If I want to feature this as top level nav within my menu, then I'm going to create a parent node and let's call this back to school. So simply just add a name, it's going to generate the slug for me. And now I have a new parent node featured first in my hierarchy that I can begin to merchandise. The great thing about this is that this doesn't require any kind of IT intervention from a merchandising standpoint to say, oh, I need to add a new category to my catalog. What is this going to affect? You can add these categories and hierarchies on the fly, use them for as long as you need and then take them off depending upon the nature of your site. So back to school, what I want to do also is add a couple of subcategories. So I'm simply going to create a child node and we'll create another child node. So now if I expand that, you can see I've got my little kids and big kids subcategories within back to school. So 
Now I want to add those products that I created through that upload. Super easy process. I simply click add SKUs and you can see those products are right here as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and add these five products into my subcategory for little kids. And of course I can search by SKU. And it's worthwhile to note here, we're covering this for merchandisers in their day-to-day -day activities. But as an API first platform, everything that I'm doing here is also available from an API standpoint. So just to come back and see now, we created our back to school node within our hierarchy for buying products. And when I expand that, I've got my two subcategories, little kids and big kids. And when I click on little kids, there are those five products that we've created. So we'll just save that. And now we'll come to our catalog. So now in my catalog, my retail catalog with my hierarchies by rent and membership is my default catalog for my website. I haven't created a new hierarchy, so I don't need to add anything here. Simply now to make that new category of product available, I just have to publish. And just to, to reaffirm what we've done in this buy category under kids, you can see I don't have any subcategories here. We're going to create that new category for back to school with its two subcategories. So we'll see that you can see I've got subcategories for women, subcategories for men, nothing for kids. Now when I publish, we're going to publish those changes that I just made. And typically merchandisers are going to work in a staging environment with their staged catalog pointed to a stage website. For purposes of demo, we're just doing this in our, our live demo uh, environment. So what happens when I click publish, of course, all of that new information is going to be propagated out within my catalog. But we also have search integrated into our experience as well. And so we're going to take those new products and new categories that we added, and that's going to get published into our search index as well, because we want our search index to be aligned with our front end experience. So now when I refresh, see, now I have my back to school category that we added and I've got little kids and big kids. There we go. So you can see it took just a few moments, but these are those five products that we added. And now I can go in and click on any of those products. We can see the brand, color, etc. If I go back to little kids, we can see again, because of that integration with the search engine, that those attributes that I created and populated in one simple step also powers my search experience. So again, now, as a customer, I can go in and sort by color. I can see the brand and so on. So let's go in and order this product. It's the backpack. Let's add it to my cart. And now I can do a quick checkout. And in this case, I'm going to check out as a guest. And again, for shipping, you remember we added that free shipping attribute for the product. We want to offer that to our customers. And now I'm going to check out with credit card. And as a first time guest, what this is going to do is it's going to leverage our integration with Stripe link to create a seamless checkout experience that allows me to save my credentials and just leverage the code on my phone to drive the experience. And now I'm going to save my information for one click checkout going forward going to type in my phone number and submit and my credentials will get validated and now I can place my order now the next time I come and use my email it's going to just send the code to my phone and I can seamlessly check out within the experience so in this merchandising moment we wanted to talk about creating a kind of a special event hierarchy within our catalog so simply all we had to do was add products into our environment, create the categorization that we want, add it to our catalog and publish. And just like that, our customer is able to go in, access that new product, take advantage of the free shipping and place their order. 